All right, and we welcome you into the EIF Network. Hello, everyone, and as always, I'm your host, EIF owner Carney, right back here on Twitch.tv, where we belong, and a new game where we need to be, because WWE 2K15 was nothing short of a massacre. But we are going to be getting set for our first championship match here for EIF on WWE 2K16. Prismatic Nebula, the Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens, is getting set for an open invitational, and it was accepted by the use of a title shot from, believe it or not, former United States champion Killer Pack. Killer Pack knows that the IC title is a ranking above the US title, and so he wants to climb his way up and ascend to the top and main event level as soon as possible. And he's going to have to get past a man who's main evented WrestleMania on more than one occasion, Prismatic Nebula. Kevin Owens, Bray Wyatt, the Eater of Worlds, versus the Intercontinental Champion, the Eater of Foods. We got two big men working each other tonight. It's gonna be interesting. And I feel like this would I feel like this would be an interesting matchup in real life, so who knows and see if these guys can put on an entertaining show. The following contest is for the Intercontinental Championship. Lillian Garcia has the same exact motions as Justin Roberts. Introducing first on his way to the ring, he is the challenger. Representing the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, he is Killer Pack. Again, Killer Pack coming off of a pretty sensational year to start. He had a brief year and tenure with us in 2K15, but he made it an eventful and had a number of matches, a couple of big wins. He had a win over his Undisputed Superstar Champion, beat down our former Undisputed Superstar Champion, I should say. And mainly, or most importantly, a win to get himself the United States Championship. Ended up losing it in his last match, heartbreaking fashion on 2K15. Against NBC Master, that man was not in action tonight, but look for him to be in action later this week, perhaps defending his championship on Wednesday when we return to the shows yet again for Super Sternum Wednesday night. Same start and end time scheduled as tonight, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern. Are your fans behind uh, the announcers? That was weird. And for some reason, because no title animation is put on him, that title is like Mr. Fantastic. It can stretch beyond its normal limitations. Introducing his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri. He is the current reigning and defending Intercontinental Champion, representing Kevin Owens. This is Prismatic. Nebula. First championship defense of the year for EIF, for WWE 2K16, and for that man, Tripod. And we're happy you could join us here on Twitch. Thank you guys, and want to remind everybody if you're listening and wondering why the why, where you think your TV's on mute, other than my audio, just want to remind you guys there was a new policy taken in. Uh, this is not just me, but all across uh, 2K16. We'll get to that in just a moment, as you can see this match for the EIF Intercontinental Championship. This is the top prize in EIF. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. I guess they do do entering entrances even for these titles. I wish I would have known that. Oh well. Of 
Mm -hmm. Now, if I turn down turns off, would it go right to this? Mm. There you can see Prism Nebula. That's how the title entrance should be with the title. And you can see Tribot having to hold and return over the Intercontinental Championship. Killer Pack aware. His opportunity to win his second championship here at EIF. Start out 2K16 the way he'd ideally like to. And we want to remind everybody now as I get as I get back to uh, to what I was talking about here, we're going to get set to take these two competitors online. And want to remind anybody, if there's any new viewers out there that have never seen this network or this stream here on Twitch, we want to remind you that these, this is Xbox Live Wrestling. This is not an interactive universe or anything done offline other than the entrances. These are real, actual Xbox Live competitors competing across the world, or nation in this case, uh, for these EIF championships. And second, I want to go back to what I was saying as we get set to make the match online. Uh, go back to what I was saying about this game, and if you guys are noticing, okay, why don't I hear any music? All right, well, unfortunately, WWE 2K16, in order to get some of the songs and license agreements, they had to sign a copyright deal in which, uh, along with Twitch, in which for anybody, not just me, guys, but anybody streaming here through the Xbox One as well as PlayStation 4 and other consoles, their, their games will be muted. There will be no music, no menu music. No entrance music, no nothing. It is kind of bittersweet, and we are thinking about working a way around that. Um, and there is a way, we believe, through capture card and whatnot. So we want to remind everybody that we do have a donation button, and we are looking for donations to get us a capture card so we can yet again provide that music for you guys. It's sort of bland doing them, as let alone right here, right now. And obviously, you guys know we did do this in 2K15, where we didn't have any music play at this area of the game. But uh, it's really kind of crappy, for lack of a better term. It's it's just it's not as good um, when you can't even have music uh, for the entrances. It definitely takes away from the game. So we're hoping to bring that back to you guys as soon as we get a chance. But the copyright deal is not going to erase itself. So we're asking for your help, guys, and we hope that you can help us out to making sure that we can provide uh, that music for you guys. And hopefully that will happen sooner than later. In the meantime, Tripod, are you appearing offline? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll double check one last time. I did invite him, but yeah. Here, Killer Pack, Killer Pack, are you able to invite Tripod? Do you have him on your list? All right, thank you. All right. And again, guys, this is the main event of tonight's show. Also, want to let people know, just in case there are going to be some people asking, um, I, I want to give an, a heartfelt apology to a lot of the EIF superstars here. If you're listening in, you were unable to get a match tonight. I know this is a very important night for a lot of you guys. I know a lot of people wanted to compete. But I do want you guys to also understand that, including these two competitors, we are actually only able to get... Uh, it looks like 12 total superstars matches tonight, which is a little bit lower than we normally do. And we had about 20 people plus, or actually a little over 20 people, looking to get matches tonight. So it is unfortunate when we have to do those things, guys. But again, uh, that does happen. We're still kind of getting used to the new game. So it's sort of a rough draft of what we really will be in the long run here on 2K16. So we ask that you share patience with us. And we are going to remember you guys, um, if you guys were here tonight and you weren't able to get your match, we are going to keep that in mind for this Wednesday at 6 if you guys can make it to EIF Superstardom. And we'll try to have you guys as our first priority for matches that night. But in the meantime, we do hope that you're going to enjoy our match here tonight. Mm -hmm. Right stick. All right, so we are getting set. Main event here. Killer Pack, are you ready? Tripod, are you ready? 
All right, Intercontinental title match. Ding, ding, ding. Two big men, Bray Wyatt, Kevin Owens. And it's going to be Wyatt starting it out. Killer Pack with a hip toss to Prismatic Nebula. Tripod with a reverse shoulder tackle right there into the chest area of Killer Pack. Big right hand, a second one, a third one. This one going low. And all of a sudden, Tribal looking like The Undertaker out there, one of the best strikers in the game of wrestling. But Killer Pack showing he can throw two strong Irish whip. And by throw, I didn't mean fist, but rather tripod entirely himself right into the corner strongly, I might add. Jawbreaker reversal for the challenger. Running, cross body, and oh, Tribal caught him. Backbreaker connects. Hard to catch a guy that big. Killer Pack, and he flops. Uh, must be these new mats that we're bringing in here in 2K16. A little slippery at times. Killer Pack being choked out now. Gave an advantage back over to Tripod. And Tripod now. Killer Pack up on the shoulders. Oh, Cup Buster connects. Champion in control now. He's throwing all the weight onto the chest of Killer Pack. Sit out, scoop slam. slam. Connecting, even I can get a little tongue-tied there. Killer Pack being choked out. Don't forget, guys, if you want to be a part of EIF, if you're new to this stream, you can. All you need to do is have an Xbox One, 2K16, Xbox Live, and an Xbox One headset. And then after that, you can just send me a, a or add me as a friend and send me a message. You can see my gamer tag right above Mr. McMahon, in the top left there of your screen. It's Killer Pack to the outside. Weapons not allowed in this match. And oh my goodness, Prismatic Nebula over the top row with Kevin Owens. Clearing territory for that landing. One taunt for the champion, and he runs into an STO from the challenger. Killer Pack looks to take ring advantage. Now is Prismatic Nebula looking to get up. Springboard, what can't KO do? Apparently land a move. Tom on the ribs. Travel using his last reversal for the time being. This is Killer Pack's chance to take advantage. He caught him. Strong Irish whip. Travel going right into the turnbuckle. Oh! Body slammed against the chest of the IC champion. And wait a minute, Killer Pack. This is Bray Wyatt heading up to the top turnbuckle. Unbelievable diving move there from Killer Pack. And now one taunt for him. Boy, is he climbing his way back up into the momentum. Although slowly, he's got quite a bit of a chunk there. Now Travel has the ability to get a reversal. Chooses not to use it quite yet. Killer Pack making a strong comeback now. Tripod struggling. My goodness, what a comeback from Killer Pack. To the middle rope goes the challenger. And leg drop misses. Tripod getting back into it now and he will have a signature. Second taunt for his Prismatic Nebula. And the scouting report from 2K15 to 2K16 doesn't change much for the Intercontinental Champion guy who will use all five taunts. There's the third one, win needed. He'll use every ability in the arsenal. He doesn't like to hold back too often either. And right now you're seeing uh, evidence of that as Killer Pack elects to use a reversal on that strike. Now Tribot begins to continue the strikes. Killer Pack with a big reversal and a little bit of extras after. And to the outside goes Pack. To the outside goes Tripod as well. Tribod might have a finisher. Oh, he does. Stomping a mud hole in Killer Pack. And German suplex. I'll try to help the camera angle for you guys. I know that's important, obviously. No ring out count here, despite the fact that DQ is off. What a move from the Intercontinental Champion. Getting a little creative here. Tribod now sort of having his way with Killer Pack on the outside. And a package neck breaker delivered from Tribot. Don't forget, guys, if you're new to the network, too, take a moment to follow us here for more action. We'll be having more matches streamed later on this week so you can take advantage of that opportunity. As Tribot with a scoop slam to pack. And again, all these moves on the outside doing twice the damage on that padding outside as opposed to the canvas in the ring. And now Strong Irish Whip Killer Pack sent in the ring. This is not a good area for Killer Pack. He's using 
the new recovery, but he's out of he's out of uh, abilities to reverse, and we're still getting used to that as well, guys. I apologize on my stutter stepping there for those of you that are not familiar with the new game and Stratified yet again diving out. You'll notice the bars underneath their percentage of momentum as well as the signature and finisher counts. Those bars indicate the amount of reversals you were able to store up. So now there is no longer an unlimited amount of reversals as Strava continues this punishing match to the Challenger Killer Pack. And so whenever one of those bars is not at least one yellow, that means you are unable to reverse anymore for the time being. So you got to be careful with those in the right situation. Somebody can get basically a free finisher on you. And Killer Pack using the first of three ring escapes. Got to give credit to Drive on right now. That is an absolute mauling of Killer Pack. Uh, Killer Pack beginning to use the recovery ability, which also you guys can see is gaining some more momentum for him. But Tribone's going to look to muffle that one quick. Oh, big reversal. Killer Pack now, Irish whipping Tribun. Strong Irish whip over the top rope goes Pack. Second taunt for Killer Pack. To the outside goes Pack. What's he thinking here? Oh, and Tripod over the top rope again. Kevin Owens giving Tripod a lot on, in his arsenal, a lot of versatility here coming from the Intercontinental Champion, able to come at Killer Pack from all sides, shooting and firing on all cylinders. And Pack's having trouble keeping up here. Bray Wyatt, both these superstars had the option of hand-picking their characters. Tripod first overall, Killer Pack was a little later, I believe, around the 17th pick. He uses his second ring escape, going for the crossbody. And a back suplex from Tripod. Intercontinental Champion in control for the majority of this match. And Pack yet again thrown head first into that ring post and drilled once more for the third time in this match. Looks like Bray Wyatt's trying to do a blade job right now. And Tripod having trouble. Debating on uh, what to do next to Killer Pack. And he's going to Irish whip, but Pack with a reversal, elbow to the face. Killer Pack now in the ring. Tribod chalked full of reversals. Pack picking him up. Big strike. Second one is reversed. Tribod has the signature and finisher. He's reversed with a jawbreaker from Killer Pack. Killer Pack signature. Signature connects from the challenger. But Killer Pack is low on stamina as well as the ability to reverse. Can he do it though? He's going into that place. Yes, they are. Killer Pack upside down. The spider walk begins. The spider walk begins. Creeping. Try but out. The Intercontinental Champion is up. We can see a new Intercontinental Champion right here. Sister Abigail connects. Hooks the leg. This could be it for Tripod. One, two. New champion, Killer Pack is the new Intercontinental Champion in a strange turn of events. Our first championship match here on 2K16 produces our first new champion crown. Killer Pack goes from the United States title, gets an upgrade, and heads over to the IC. Now holds the top tier mid-card championship just a few months into his brief yet successful career. We mentioned nothing new in the scouting report for Tripod. Well, nothing new in the reactions from Tripod as well as he has stormed out of the arena now. Very angry. But again, Bray Wyatt as the United States, or I'm sorry, Bray Wyatt as the Intercontinental Champion. Thought he was going to be Bray Wyatt with the U.S. title. Things didn't go his way, but he gets an upgrade. And hey, who's going to complain about that, right? So again, Killer Pack defeating Prismatic Nebula, a match in which Tribe controlled the majority of that pace, but Pack able to storm a late heroic comeback with the sister Abigail. We want to thank all of you guys for tuning in here on tonight's EIF Network match. We want to remind you our next shows are Wednesday and Friday. There's going to be at least one more match. And again, keyword, at least 
one more match streamed this week right back here on twitch.tv so in the meantime do us a favor and follow us here on the EIF network that way you can stay up to date with that and if you want to join EIF don't forget to check us out at leaguelineup.com slash EIF lives follow us on Twitter as well with the at EIF network and if you want to learn a little bit more if you're new to the network and you want to see some of the stuff we did in the past on 2k15 you can visit our YouTube channel at EIF archive that's EIF a-R-C-H-I-V-E. And don't forget, if you have an opportunity, please be as charitable and generous as possible. We do accept donations in order to hopefully be able to provide you music yet again. Right now, I'm listening to Bray Wyatt's song, but again, you guys cannot hear that due to a copyright issue because I am not able to provide music directly from my Xbox One to Twitch.tv. However, if we get a capture card, we can yet again bring music back, and obviously, it's a huge part of EIF with entrances and whatnot. So, uh, as you can see, we're getting ready to head out of there, and we are done for the night here on Fights in the First weekly show of EIF on 2K16, a successful one, and a new champion crown, so a lot of eventful stuff, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. We've got so much more coming your way later on this week and for the duration of WWE 2K16. So yet again, one last time, thank you so much for tuning in here tonight. We hope to see you right back here again on the EIF Network this Wednesday night when Super Stardom comes to town at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. For all of us here at the EIF Network, I'm EIF owner Carney saying good night. We'll see you next time, everyone.